Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to talk about while loops today. The last time we talked about for loops. Um, okay, so while loops, as you can see on the screen, while loops um, basically run a pro something continuously, so a block of code until a condition is met. The major concern with these is you've got to make sure that at some point the condition becomes true. Otherwise, the, the loop will become endless and it will basically just break your PC. If that happens, you'll have to start your task manager and kill it. Or control and C can kill that in our studio. Um, the diagram that's just appeared on your screen illustrates this better. So while A is equal to true, do B. So A, B, true, 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 true. Then when it's made false, it terminates. So we'll produce an example of this to actually make sense of what that diagram means to you. So let's say we've got a value, which that's a variable. We're going to call it, we're going to assign it with a zero, first of all. So we'll run that line. So if you look, let me just clear my environment actually. If we run that value now, you'll see that value is equal to zero. Okay. So what we're going to do then is start the while loop while our value is it's currently zero, but we could say less than 30. Remember you always um, open the curly braces after your parentheses, and that's where your block of code goes. And we're going to basically use the cat function, and we're going to say the value is of the val variable is and we're going to just put the very pass the variable to the end of that cat function um, and then we're going to say with our value change the value and add one to it so basically you've got to say to increment the value that's what that does there. So every time, every time this this code iterates from zero to less than thirty, it'll add one to zero, so it'll become one in the first iteration, two in the second, three in the third, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if we run these lines now, okay. Let me just print this as well, actually. We could say our value is still less than 10, less than 30, sorry. We are, we are going to add one to it. Okay. So yeah, that essentially goes through each of the values and on zero, then one, then two. So now this commands essentially started it at zero, added one to it, becomes one, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 29 because it's less than 30 so it will terminate there. If we had less than equal to that would change how it behaves. So essentially it then go up to 30 which is probably a better way of doing it. Within this code block we could also extend out, um, add an if statement into it, an if condition. We could say if our value equals 10 say or say 5 and open parentheses again we can going to print something out of the console window print the value has been found at 5 something like that so when I run that again we should see that on the console window I'll just clear the console window that's control and L okay let me just reduce this down slightly. So now let me run these lines. So when I get to 
value number 5 the value has been found at 5 and that's that additional if statement that I've just added to it so yeah you can add um, you know I could then use some kind of break command to terminate it which I'll do in a second so as I said I'm going to now add once that value of 5 is found I'm going to break the code so do that again so essentially then with my if statement it'll only go up to the first five values if you, as you can see because I've added it as to break the code so break out of the while loop when it finds that value so the value of the val variable is five our value is still less than blah 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 the value has been found at five so that's subject of that if condition so adding break to it means that the actual full, full statement is not run but if I then comment that out again run it again it should run all 30 iterations okay you could do more fancy if logic than that but essentially that's how you use a while statement so as it's zero it'll iterate every time so it's true so one's true it's less than 30 two is true because it's less than 30 three is true because it's less than 30 four is true because it's less than 30 when it gets up to 30 this then goes from being true to becoming false so essentially what a while does is it um, runs everything whilst it's true and then terminates when it becomes false so 30 is when it will become false and then the, the um, code code finishes so that's essentially what's just happened there when we run it again it finishes at 30 so the condition now is false for each one of these it's true because as I said zero you add one to it it becomes one one is still less than 30 zero you add one um, again the value will then be one because it's iterated and changed the original variable so then it become one so the next iteration will then make it two still less than 30 so it's still true until it gets up to 30 and then it will become false I hope that makes sense. Refer again to the um, the guide that I um, shoot, showed you, the flow chart that I showed you at the start. Next, we're going to get on to some more uh, R programming functions. Please subscribe. Please stay with me. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate your support.